The discussions in yesterday's budget hearing at the Senate were lively, lengthy, and covered a lot of ground and government agencies. Among them, the Department of Energy, with which the nuclear option issue was raised, and then the DPWH, the Ombudsman, and Department of Transportation. Our Daniel Manlastas has more on this session that lasted well past midnight to the wee hours of the morning. The proposed budget for the Office of the Ombudsman quickly deemed submitted for Senate plenary approval after no senator asked questions on its budget sponsor. Right after that, Ombudsman Samuel Martires faced the media on the issue on confidential funds. Yun sinasabi ng mga matatanda pag uh, mamaluktot ka pag may iksi ang kumot, di ba? So dito siguro gagamitin na lang namin yung charm Daan mo sa ngiti, baka naman matulungan ka ng iba. Idaan mo sa pagmamarites. In fact, I, I'll be honest with you. Kung misa, nakakapulot ako namang informasyon dahil sa inyo eh. And with that, I just, all I have to do is to validate the information that I, that I got from members of the press. During the budget deliberations of the Department of Justice, the issue on confidential funds was also raised. 2023 GAA po. How much was the CF for this secretary? 526, Your Honor. So the GAA of 2023 gave uh, the Justice Secretary the OSEC 500 million in confidential funds. And then let's compare it to the committee report for next year, 168 million. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, so nakita natin yung big drop po pagbaba. Okay, so we have established that bumaba. Meanwhile, last night, during the budget deliberations for the proposed budget of the Department of Energy, the use of nuclear power was raised. The DOE, through its budget sponsor, confirmed a thorough study on the matter has been ongoing. We can now say that the Marcos administration is for the adoption of nuclear power generation in the Philippines. Yes, Mr. President. Okay, so we, we should start the debate on that, uh, on that front, Mr. President. Yes, Mr. President. Once the roadmap is completed... Uh, we will request for uh, a copy of the roadmap and that will be the basis of the Sige. debate. Meanwhile, during the Transportation Department's budget deliberations, the issue on backlogs for motor vehicle plates and driver's license cards was raised. The good news is by November 15, there are no more backlogs for motor vehicles. But... Until 2025, there will still be motorcycle plates backlog uh, to the tune of around 13 million. For the driver's license, Mr. President, okay, as of October 18, 2023, the backlog is 2.4 million cards and is projected to increase to 3.9 million by December 2023. Daniel Manalastas for The Nation.